For sure. If you get Sachin mad, I don't think it'd be pretty, you know? Roar! And all that. <laughs> <laughs> and all that. <laughs> I want to dub that you saying that into Jurassic Park. <laughs> the T-Rex shows up and just roar and all that. <laughs> Roar and all that. Hello. Welcome back to Otaku Tuesday. Hi. On Book and Gaming. <laughs> I'm Eric. I am Travis. And this is the fruit. Yeah. Of, of the loom. Something. Yeah, the fruit of the fruit gushers. Interconnected nonsense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does it all mean? Probably nothing. I don't know. He's going to tell us, I think. Yeah. Could be. The habits are persistent things. Even when your circumstances change, they tend to stay with you. That is the definition. Take mealtimes, for example. Who am I talking to? <laughs> us. I, I eat at 7 in the morning, 12 in the afternoon, and 7 in the evening. If you know the time, you know how full my stomach is. That's weird. My sleep patterns are even easier to understand. Unless I'm working or have something to do, my eyelids naturally grow heavy after 10 p.m., and I'm asleep by 11 p.m. at the latest. He's a psychopath. Even if I don't set an alarm, my eyes open on their own every morning. Like, not even in, like, a, oh, he's a psychopath, he's going to murder people, but, like, he's just he just has psychopathic tendencies. Yeah. Maybe sociopathic? I don't know. Well, we'll find out well, why someday, hopefully. Right. <laughs> and usually find the clock reading 4.45 a.m. Oh my god, it's only like five hours of sleep. Uh -huh. After spending 15 minutes half asleep in bed, I slowly rouse myself and apply the eye drops I keep cool in the refrigerator. Next, I drink a bottle of oolong tea, replenishing the fluids I lost through pissing the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating in my sleep. Well, thanks for spending the night, baby. Give me just a second. I have to go to the fridge and get my eye drops. My eyes have lost their moistness. I must refill the fluids I spent in you last night. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some Gatorade or something. A quick check of the weather outside my window, and I change into my sweats and head out for my daily run. There are more rules than habits for me at this point. These are. Today, as usual, I alternated jogging with wind sprints, responding to the echo of the drill instructor's whistle inside my head. But at this very moment, outside my empty dorm room, a far-from-routine incident was beginning to take shape. <gasps> it's a cat! What's it gonna be? Who, who are we gonna, who are we gonna interact are with we gonna, today? Who are we gonna run into? It's gonna know. be Amine. That's my <gasps> guess. Out shopping again or something? I don't know. We've spent time with all of them now. I know. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm going with Amit. <laughs> That's my guess. I was heading back to my room after my run, planning on a quick shower and some breakfast at 7 a.m. when I noticed something unusual. Oh, Nailed you were right. It. Whoa, look at her pants. Well then. <laughs> Whoa, Jeez. look at her pants. <laughs> Whoa, look at her pants. Uh... Suo Amine was skillfully moving her slippered feet down the stairs, careful not to make the slightest sound. Probably shouldn't wear slippers then. The instant I saw her movements, precisely those of an agent of an... Uh, on an infiltration mission, I instinctively hid myself in the shadows. I'm now watching her every move. That's weird, but alright. <laughs> Suo Amine, that woman, could it be... There's a cold, sticky sweat on my forehead, and it's not the product of my daily exercise. Was she was she masturbating? <laughs> Am I her target? Amine is holding a key in her right hand. Glancing cautiously around her surroundings, she moves to my door. She takes great care to unlock it with a gradual, slight movement. Ooh, and her pants are unbuttoned. Just as I thought. It's my room. I consult my watch. It's still early morning. There's only one reason to sneak quietly into a man's room at this hour. Assassination. Yeah, that's that's where everyone's brain goes. I don't I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe that Suo Amine is an agent working for some unknown organization. But now that I think back, there were a lot of things that didn't make sense. She was aggressively friendly to me from our very first meeting, never showing a hint of embarrassment at pushing herself onto me. And yet she's never showed any particular interest in my past. Just how convenient is that for me? 
She's the best honeypot ever. <laughs> Her lack of interest in my past makes sense if she'd already received an overview of my background. At a glance, she's just your typical horny big sister role player <laughs> that you all know and love. <laughs> yeah, you know that old catch <laughs> yeah. too. But that could be a front hiding a killing machine, a woman who takes lives as naturally as she draws breath. Is that what's going on? Like, is one of these girls I don't think so. Bad? No. I really think, like, you are part of some organization. I don't, like, I don't know what the organization is, but I think they sent you to this school, and it's like a school for, like, special kids. Not so much, like, slow special, but just, like, different. Right. That's why there's so few of them. And they're like, well, he never had a childhood or anything like that, and he wants one, so we'll just send him to this one so, so it's not like a full-on school. And I don't, the girls are just weird, I guess. I don't know. I guess. But, like, why would he, why would he be thinking this? Because he's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hadn't read her that way. But that's probably because I let down my guard. Unbelievably sloppy. If my master was alive, she'd knock me on my ass for this one. It's hot. A convenient woman like that is obviously too good to be true. I think that all the time, too. But even as I reproach myself, my chest is burning with bitter sadness. Oblivious to my silent regret, Amina eases my door open and begins to inch her way inside. Good morning. Amina speaks in a whisper. Like probably always. a <laughs> sa- safeguard against the possibility that I had awoken earlier than she expected. When there's no response, she continues to move into the room. I quietly follow, concealing myself in the shadows to avoid alerting her to my presence. I mean, how many places are there to hide in that tiny room? <laughs> huh? He's not here. Where'd he go off to? It's pretty bright in here all of a sudden. Of course, she finds my bed empty. Just like me. (laughs) Amine looks around the room quickly and after a moment, opens the door to my bathroom and pokes her head in to continue her search. Get out of here, you nosy little pervert. I'm going (laughs) to slap you, silly. (laughs) What exactly was she (laughs) planning to say if I had been taking a shower? The... What the heck? So much for my thrilling wake-up kiss. Say what? I quickly jump back into bed. (laughs) (laughs) Wait a second. Suo Amine. Did you seriously sneak in here for that idiotic... No, hold on. Could she have noticed my presence? Is this all just a masterful farce? Suo Amine, you are one hell of a woman. Very well. Let's just see how long you can keep up this little act. But seriously, what a bleak room. Mind your own business. I'm working on it at my own pace. I'm currently in the shadows. <laughs> and yet, it's still cluttered somehow. Clothes all over the floor. A half-empty bottle of oolong tea just sitting there. <laughs> I only emptied half of my fluids last night. <laughs> <laughs> They're going in the laundry later anyway, and I was going to finish that after my run, okay? Ugh, I can't take this anymore. Let's just take care of this. She's finally ready to lay her trap. Or not, Amine picks up the bottle and starts to gather my scattered clothes from the floor. Hmm? Huh? Is this just laundry you didn't bother to fold? For some reason, Amine unfolds the clothes in front of her face, buries her nose into them, and begins inhaling their scent. Oh, that's the stuff. (sighs) Smells like detergent, but... Hmm... (laughs) Bomb! (laughs) There's this weird stink, too. Suo Amine, are you a dog? Ah, oh, crap. This scent is actually kind of nice. <laughs> I'm going to use this to masturbate later. <laughs> I already did. <laughs> or rather, a bitch in heat? Are you a pervert, Suo Amine? Mm. Hey, what now? Why are you staring at my bed? Wait, you... Don't tell me. Is she going to start... Hiya! Hi, yeah, yourself. Did you seriously just jump onto my bed? Uh, it what totally smells f- like sweat. <laughs> <laughs> now she's pressing her face into my sheets and snuffling loudly. Jeez, uh, so smelly. Mm, man stink is too good. Okay. Don't, <laughs> don't stick your face in my bed. Don't shake your ass around. Don't stick your face in my bed and shake your ass around. 
This girl really is a dog in human Stop. form. Stop, I can only get so erect. Mm. Uh, this is bad. I'm getting a little bit dizzy. If you press your nose against the covers and inhale over and over, of course you're going to get lightheaded from lack of oxygen. More importantly, is this what I think it is? If I'm reading this correctly. Oh, Yuji kun don't. <laughs> you can't. Uh, wow, they really mm. do masturbate when nobody's around. Right? This woman is, in fact, a horny big sister role player. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you can't. Yuji kun stop. Restrain yourself. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> Allow me to <laughs> correct myself. This woman is, in fact, a sex-crazed maniac big sister role player. <sighs> Drunk on the man stink that's apparently lingering in my bed sheets, Amine wriggles her body, breathing roughly through her nose. But watching her shameful display, I feel more relieved than anything else. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How relaxing. <laughs> At the very least, something. I don't know, I accidentally clicked. Oh my god. Now that I have this, o now that I think this over calmly, there's no way anyone would arrange such an elaborate assassination for me. Oh, you think? <laughs> a traffic accident would be more economical, and the cleanup after the fact much less troublesome. Too bad I don't drive, ever. I said, sigh! <laughs> <laughs> All that suddenly ridiculous tension I'd been filled with leaks out of my mouth. At, at this point, I finally notice that I'm very thirsty. Oh, my fluids. Moving relatively quietly, I open the door to my fridge and retrieve a large bottle of sports drink. What is he just... Uh, She's, he's just walking around now. She doesn't even notice. Those shadows she... sure hide him pretty well. Right? He's a ninja. I twist the cap off and drink directly from the bottle like a badass, gulping down a mouthful of cold liquid. As the chill sh soaks into my parched throat and the electrolytes course through my strained body, I realize just how worked up I'd been over nothing. This episode brought to you by Gatorade. <laughs> 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 no, not there. You can't. Within her fantasy, I've apparently begun to reach my hand towards Amine's underwear. She's very concerned about this for some unclear reason. At this rate, I'm going to get a real show free of charge. What to do? Nothing. Maybe the gentlemanly thing would be to go back outside, then noisily pretend to return. With that thought, I start to drink, return my drink to the fridge, but just as I separate my mouth from the two-liter bottle... Two liters of Gatorade? <laughs> the liquid inside... I didn't even know they sold that. <laughs> what <laughs> a deal! It cool. uh, sloshes around vigorously, making a surprisingly loud sound. Who's there? Just the shadows. <laughs> Unfortunately, the sound shatters Amine's delusion, just as she's begun a slow, inviting wiggling of her hips. She springs up out of bed, her eyes wide open. Ah, uh, um, Yuji... Kuhn? There's no time to hide. I'm standing there with a sports drink in my hand, staring at Amine, and she's staring right back. Um, how long have you been there? For a while now. Um, so how long is that? What was the first thing you saw? If I honestly tell Amine that I saw the whole thing, she might be hurt. Maybe I should be considerate and tell her I didn't see anything, but at this point, that would be way too barefaced a lie. So the middle ground would be to say, I only saw the last part. <laughs> Herm, let's see. I think it was, ah, uh, you can't, Yuji kun Or maybe, stop, restrain yourself. <laughs> uh... Hmm, what's wrong? You're sweating like crazy. Do you need a drink packed with electrolytes? Your hair is just like dripping wet. <laughs> I already took a swig, just so you know. Is. Is? Is it watching quietly kind of cruel? You should join. <laughs> Why? Should I have sung a song to help you get in the mood? Somebody want... <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. Why? No. no! Her legs buckling underneath her, Amine drops to the floor with a thud, covers her face with both hands, and breaks down in hysterical tears. Look, I'm the one who should be screaming here. Coming back to your room to find a woman wriggling around in your sheets? That sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't remember learning an appropriate response to this particular scenario. I skip that day of training. <laughs> uh, no way. Uh, I can't be a bride anymore. <laughs> Look on the bright side. At least you noticed me before you started rubbing my pillow between your legs, right? That was yesterday. <laughs> That's not remotely close to helping. Wah. <laughs> 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 hey. Amine, 
Amine pushes past me and runs away screaming, still hiding her face in her hands, although from the state of her ears, I can infer that it's bright red. What am I supposed to do with this woman? Now my bed smells like woman stink. Gugh. It's hardly that big a deal. But apparently I'm the only one that thinks so. A good hour later, it's time to go to school, but Amine's locked herself in her bathroom and shows no sign of emerging. Hey, Amine! What's the matter? Your tummy hurt? That's not it. <clears throat> Just leave me alone. You got diarrhea? Amoebic dysentery? No. I just want to be left alone for a while. New Pepto-Bisball Max. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so maybe it's not coming out at all? You constipated? I said that's not it. Just go away. Nah, sorry. Your period? I'll get the medicine, okay? Period be gone? Listen, I yes. said you're wrong. Period be gone. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Then it's not coming at all? Dee dee dee! <laughs> Don't tell me you're giving birth in there. I said that's not it, goddammit. Well, the exact details aren't any of my business, but it seems that Machina's persistent siege eventually convinced Amine to leave the bathroom. Jeez, we're not totally running. Or, <laughs> we're totally running late because of Amini. We gotta get a move on or we won't make it. I said I'm sorry. Don't be too harsh. Amine has her reasons. Sorry, Yoni-chan. We kept you waiting and all. Come on, Amini. You apologize too. S sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is almost my fault in a way. I left all that so man hot. <laughs> Forget almost. This is your fault. Uh, what exactly happened? I'll tell you when you're a little older, Machina. Don't ever tell her. Take it to the grave. I'm begging you. <laughs> you can practically see the question mark floating over Machina's head as she tries to get a grasp on the situation. Meanwhile, Amine seems to be trying to get through this by force of will alone. The three of us leave the dorm and begin to run toward our classroom. <laughs> All that man stinks coming back. <laughs> My fluids. What's wrong, Machina? You're falling behind. Run! Ha, 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 ha. Jeez, I hate running. Omni, you dummy. Uh, uh, look, how many times do I have to apologize? Uh, uh. All right then, Machina. I'll teach you a wonderful song that makes running more enjoyable. <laughs> <clears throat> song? What's that? What kind of song... It's called a running cadence. At my old school, we sung these all the time when we had to run. Repeat after me, got it? Yeah! Sumo. <laughs> Suo Amine's a bitch in heat. Oh, oh God. God. Suo Amine's a bitch in heat. Rolling around in a man's bed sheets. <laughs> Rolling around in a man's bed sheets. Wow. <laughs> Wait, the song! Oh, God. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> good for me. Good for me. Mmm, mmm, good. Campbell soup. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, stop. Huh? Why? It's fun. Herm. Well then, shall we take a leisurely walk and sing some nice nursery rhymes instead? We haven't made it past this bench yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid treadmill sidewalk. <laughs> Don't even think about it. You'll make things even worse. Although I'd been consider uh, considerately trying to turn the whole incident into a joke so that we could laugh it off together, things didn't wrap up that neatly. Machina enjoyed the cadence call more than I'd expected. And when she got Sachi to join in in a loud chorus during P.E. class that day, our classmates naturally started asking about the lyrics. Amine's response was to hang her head deeply and vaguely mumble, Ah, I don't even care anymore. The smile on her face at that moment was truly hollow. Well then, what a what a day that was. Eventful. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we decided to do this as a group. You're in too, Yumiko. <laughs> They're all Got singing it, it now. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> the moment I leave my room, I'm met with a shrill voice from the lobby. <clears throat> I didn't have any part in this alleged decision. Even so, would it kill you to just go? <laughs> if you insist. Every once in a while, just to be nice. 
If every once in a while is enough, that means I can choose to decline today, doesn't it? Ugh. Will you stop picking at my words? Herm. <laughs> <laughs> That's once three. per episode, at least. <laughs> From what I can gather, Michiru is trying to drag Sakaki into some sort of group event. So, do those two dislike each other after all? I ask Amine, who's watching the fight from the sidelines, to clear up a point of confusion. Hey, bitch. <laughs> <sighs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but, you know, their personalities kind of clash. I see. Do, does any personality match with uh, Yumiko? No. Has to stab people. Right. <laughs> Michiru tries to bring things together as everyone's leader, while Sakaki avoids excessive contact with those around her. It's only natural that these two would come into conflict pretty frequently. Let me be honest. At my age, I can't even... I can't get very excited by the idea of playing dollies with you. Wha look, you! If you keep this up, I'm gonna get really mad, okay? That's so. Feel free. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. Like how to hold a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Wave that thing around all you want. It's not like I'm scared or anything. Whoa! <laughs> all right. Her. The natural enemies of cobra versus bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a mongoose. A tail is hold this time. <laughs> Co or, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, cobra mo and mongoose. Mongoose, Mongooses. Yeah. Judging from the way she isn't backing down, even with that box cutter in her face, Michiru's gotten a little heated herself. Shouldn't we stop this, or at least throw jello on them? Probably. <laughs> Those two do argue all the time, but Makina's starting to get scared. Ow, ow. <laughs> ow! I look down to find Makina hiding behind Amine's back, watching the scene fearfully. If you want, I can try to calm them down. I can get that bucket of water again. Not necessary. We've got a powerful demon lord on our side. What? <laughs> Is that what you were summoning on my bed? A demon lord? All right, Sachan, you're up. Certainly. And so the fearsome demon lord, or rather Sachi, slowly advances towards her prey. Here are my panties. <laughs> you crazy? Sachi's obviously not cut out for this role. <sighs> I thought you'd say that. No offense to Sachi, but when it comes to stopping an argument, I think you'd be you'd be more effective, Amine. Yeah, so you'd think. But it's actually quite the opposite. There's a precedent? Yep. I think this happened pretty soon after we'd gotten to the five members we had before you arrived. Flashback. Here it is. Something very similar happened, and I did try to break it up. But in the end, it didn't really <laughs> matter. These two kept fighting as hard as ever. So I tried asking Sachi... More out of desperation than anything else. And then... She pulled it off? Did we need like that much of a flashback just for that couple sentences? Mm -hmm. Yep. And with a real bang, Makina, I could, and Makina and I couldn't believe our eyes. Sachin was so awesome back then. This is a little hard to swallow, honestly. Well, just keep watching. You'll get what I mean. Seeing is believing... Is it? <laughs> um, Michiru-sama, Sakaki-san. What do you want, Sachi? I'm kind of busy right now. I'm summoning my mongoose. <laughs> Same here. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> if there's something you need, save it for later. Um, I'm sorry, but this is a request from Amine-san. I'm afraid later won't quite work. Uh, More importantly, how about you put that dangerous thing away already? How about you reassess your way of thinking first? <laughs> Excuse me? I have something to discuss with you two. Oh, rumble, rumble, rumble. Um, you're making everyone worry. Could you please stop this fight? Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sachi. We weren't really fighting or anything, right, Sakaki-san? We were just using our stands. <laughs> right? <laughs> Y yes, of course not, Matsushima-san. What the hell is that? She just asked them, and she did a crappy job of it. She's so cute, though. And yet the effect was immediate, wasn't it? That's right, exactly. True, the wind has completely gone out of Michiru and Sakaki's sails, because I closed the door. <laughs> I'm sure Sachin is making a face at those two, don't you know? 
What's with the Hiroshima accent all of a sudden? Do they say in a Hiroshima (laughs) accent? (laughs) I see. So this is the nature of her demonic powers. Hey, Michiru. What? (laughs) Seeking further details, I capture Michiru as she totters away from the scene. What do you want all of a sudden? A kiss. (laughs) (laughs) Why, Why did you stop arguing just now? Huh? Oh, Oh, you obviously haven't seen Sachi get serious yet. You wouldn't be asking otherwise. Sachi has a serious mode? Yeah, you've heard her saying, if looks could thrill, right? Uh, I've heard if looks could kill, at least. Yeah, that's another variation. (laughs) Sachi's serious is exactly that. In other words, when Sachi needs to, she can fire a glare powerful enough to kill? She's got laser eyes. <laughs> exactly. Those eyes have 100,000 horsepower at oh. minimum. She just has them set to stun, not kill. <laughs> Michiru continues to mumble to herself as she sits down on a nearby sofa. Komine-san is just too much for me to handle sometimes. Sakaki, for her part, is unusually pale in the face. And this right here is the reason Sachi's our class rep. Despite the fact that she looks the most timid out of all of us. Because this place is basically a gathering of students with very strong personalities. Bitches. That role needs to go to someone (laughs) who can make everyone else shut up and do as they're told when it's necessary. And the one who can do that is Sachan, not me, as you can see. I'm on pillow duty. (laughs) So it seems. I fluff everyone's sheets. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> fluffing the pillows. <laughs> Sachan is always saying, sweetenly, as she obediently takes on our requests, but for us, that word feels literally true. When Sachan says it, really does mean that the problem will <laughs> definitely be solved. You really place a lot of trust in Sachi's abilities. For sure. If you get Sachin mad, I don't think it'd be pretty, you know? Roar! And all that. <laughs> <laughs> and all that. <laughs> I want to dub that you saying that into Jurassic Park. <laughs> the T-Rex shows up and just roar and all that. <laughs> oh, God. I'll probably have to throw a clip in of Jurassic Park. <laughs> Herm. <laughs> it seems like I may have been underestimating Sachi. I did throw a Herm counter in the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sachi. Yes? There's more to you than meets the eye. That was pretty impressive. She's a robot in disguise. Thank you very much. <laughs> huh. All right, then. Looks like Sakaki-san's in a cooperative mood now. So let's go ahead and start the board game tournament. Yeah! That's really what this was about. <laughs> Have fun. Don't worry about the noise. I'm the type who can sleep next to train tracks. What are you talking about? You're not going anywhere, Yuji-kun. What? Someone <laughs> has to play the banker. <laughs> Like I said, everyone's playing, which obviously includes you, duh. I was drafted into this against my will, myself. You see where I'm going with this, right? That's how it is, right, Sachin? Sweetly. Herm. (laughs) They've been going at it like cats and dogs just moments ago. But all of a sudden, it's an utterly united front. We're playing Risk. Until we play Risk. (laughs) (laughs) Might be a little late in the game to realize it, but I seem to have ended up in a pretty troublesome school. Just realizing this. What are we playing? I want to know what we play. Shoots and ladders. It's probably Risk, and we have to choose if we want to play aggressively or defensively. Oh, God. (laughs) It's strip poker. (laughs) Ah, ah, No matter how many times I've done it, whenever I mix solution A with solution B, my hands tremble. What game are you playing? (laughs) <laughs> Ugh, just imagining that throbbing pain in my scalp makes me want to cry. But if I don't do this, the color won't stay this beautiful blonde. Oh, man. It burns with the fire of a thousand suns, but it must be done, Michiru. I shall overcome. Ah, oh, right. Dab on the cream to protect my skin first. Here we go. Just walk in and she's bleaching her pubes. <laughs> <laughs> now to put it on my head. Yeah. <gasps> oh, 
She's dead. <laughs> Although it's not uncommon to hear someone who acts in bizarre or stupid ways described as a space alien. As a general <laughs> rule, the aliens I have seen in movies possess advanced intelligence surpassing humanities. In some, they're even depicted as virtual gods manipulating genetic sequences to control human evolution. Do aliens exist? <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about this for a while. If you ask scientific authorities on the subject, they'll tell you in all likelihood, yes. But just as the children's eyes begin to sparkle, the scientists tack on a malicious afternote, not that they're anything like what you're thinking. Even if we do find some alien water flea wriggling around on a distant planet, I can't imagine it will inspire too passionate a response from the general public. The people don't want to rip off like that for their E.T. What they want is a simple by-the-book alien. <laughs> Zoidberg. <laughs> oh. Give me Although I've experienced a wide range of auditory stimuli in my time, this is quite the ear-splitting shriek. Yeah, I can't really do that. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> you have neighbors. <laughs> considerable distance between me and the source, so there's no distance. Uh, there's no damage to my eardrums. But if I had to approach, I'd need to prepare myself for a pretty decent set of ear muffins. <laughs> compared, Delicious. Compared to the 120 decibels produced by the engine of a civilian aircraft, there, this is no match in pure volume. But when you consider the sheer unpleasantness factor, it's a pretty competitive match. Yeah, here we go again. Again? Mind explaining what's going on? Well, that's the sound of Chiru Chiru's ceremony. Once this starts, it keeps going for a while. How long is a while? Several days? Weeks? Not on that scale. Even... Spain's Tomato Fight Festival only got us on for an hour, you know? Everybody knows that. Anyway, it's long enough. <laughs> what exactly is that woman doing other than shrieking like a banshee? Yeah, I don't know that either. Cheer, cheers and alien theory seems most probable. I guess she needs to tell, to yell like a freaking to contact the mothership. You know, it's, a, it's a kind of ritual. Communicating with the stars, eh? I see. Plausible. That woman is definitely a little out of the ordinary. Yep, just a little bit. Uh, especially the contents of her cranium. <laughs> I don't think you should necessarily talk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. True, true, I shouldn't talk. Necessarily. Hmm? Herm. I'm somewhat interested in the nature of this ceremony. Let's take a look. Does it involve nudity? <laughs> I don't want to see Chiru Chiru like that, so I'll pass. Like that? Like what exactly? Yeah, I can't explain it with words. You'll have to see it with your own eyes. Oh She's God. bleaching her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that would burn. <laughs> I see. Then I'll do just that. <clears throat> As I approach Michiru's room, I notice a strange stench in the air. This is foul! Some kind of gas? Everybody get out! The membranes of my nose twitch in response. My body recalls the tension it's known in the field. I was trained to retain the capacity for action in a cloud of tear gas, but the irres irrepressible coughing and running nose, the pain in your eyes, and the irritation of your skin will always lower your effectiveness. No, my mistake. This isn't gas. I thought it might have been dispersed pepper spray, but that seems to have been a misjudgment. The odor is terrible, but it's not dense enough to affect my... Yeah. <coughs> What's this? <laughs> this... <laughs> ceremony Machina was talking about? It hurts! It hurts! It hurts? What's that supposed to mean? Probably it hurts. <laughs> right? This ceremony, don't tell me it involves human sacrifice. When you think of human sacrifice, the Mayan civilization is what comes to mind. In order to offer tribute to the god of the sun, it's said that they would paint a human being blue and gouge out their still beating heart. But ceremonies like That's that... That's what that song is about. What? I'm blue, da boo dee da boo oh. da. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my eyes are opened. It's all coming together now. Uh, ceremonies like this, like that, or this, or that, should have been in ancient history by now. And in the first place, we're in Japan here, you know? <laughs> it's hard to believe, but if Michiru happens to have painted her body blue, then it's bingo. It's my fetish. What? She's emerged! I immediately tumble my way across the hall with a skillful shoulder roll. Hide myself in the shadows How again. shadows? Get some better lighting in your school, <laughs> jeez. And silence the sound of my breath. Uh, uh. Huh? Her hands have become mittens. Uh, uh. 
Speaking of the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> in this moment, I know fear. Not the fear of death or the fear of darkness. This is, in fact, a variety of terror completely new to me. To explain its nature concisely. Wh what the hell is this? Michiru's body was not, in fact, dyed blue. Ah, there goes my Smurf roleplay I was hoping for. Which is all well and good, but... He's actually super into the Na'vi from Avatar. Oh. Yeah, okay, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls of cling wrap are draped all around her head. From inside, a mysterious sap drips out in globs. Just as Machina said, Michiru's eerie, irregular movements are reminiscent of a space alien. This must be the particular variety of terror that accompanies a close encounter of the third kind. If I'm discovered, all bets are off. If, <laughs> if the sun moves and the shadow disappears, I'm <laughs> right. done for. It's that sort of fear. <laughs> Michiru wanders around the hallway with vacant eyes. Her cries are truly bizarre. Is she receiving a message? Or could that shriek itself be her transmission to the stars? I've had to make so many weird noises. Speaking of which... Michiru draws near. Her lips are trembling violently, and her eyes seem to have rolled back into her head. Oh, God! She passes my hiding place and wanders off somewhere. It's been a long time since I wished so desperately from the bottom of my heart. Please don't find me! He's worried about this, but... Not Amine humping his pillow. He's no, just that's like, just oh, hot. I'm just going to go drink. He doesn't want to get attacked by an alien. He <laughs> wasn't trained for that. She's left a slimy trail behind her like a slug. I thought she was nothing more than a Sundere wannabe. To think she'd conduct such a mysterious ritual, clearly I need to handle her with more caution. What on earth are you doing lying flat on the ground in a place like this? <laughs> hmm, if it isn't Sakaki, can you take two steps to the left? <laughs> Let me ask you instead, what are you doing standing up like that? As for me, I was just taking evasive action in response to a certain crisis. A crisis? That's so. Sounds rough. She just lays down next to you. Yeah. <laughs> I stand up, brushing off the dust my clothes picked up during my roll across the floor. That was badass. <laughs> Incidentally, what are your thoughts on extraterrestrial life? I know it's a different, a, a difficult question, but I want to organize my own thoughts on the matter. Please let me hear your opinion. Sakaki answers my sudden question without hesitation. Let's see. Next year, I expect our battle against the stars will be getting underway. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the first contact from outer space arrives in an unexpected way. First comes the omens, then the amount, uh, then the moment of their arrival. Driven by fear of the unknown, humanity's caution triumphs over its capacity for understanding. The result? The people choose to take up arms. Also, they can sleep better at night. How a, American. A battle for survival, huh? Sometimes there's no room for any other choice. And there's an old saying, the first blow is half the battle. I and knowing is... That. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, in Napoleon's words, the battle lies in the last five minutes, and the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> I, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> The war of the worlds ends in a defeat of the human race. Choosing violence as an escape from fear is our final mistake, or so the novel wraps things up. Novel? Oh, we were talking about a I book. I saw the Tom Cruise movie, Ugh. and they just got sick. The <laughs> aliens just died because it's spoiler. The war of the worlds? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> they weren't used to our atmosphere. <laughs> of course we were. What do you expect me to say when you ask me about aliens out of nowhere? She was dyeing her hair, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I see. She my literally bad. said something about mixing things and turning in blonde. Right. It's not really a problem. However, please try to refrain from crawling your way through the hallways from now on. He just crawls around like the monster party character. <laughs> <laughs> in swarms across. Herm. Crawling, is it? True, the low crawl they teach every SDF grunt is a method of advancing with your body pressed flat on the ground. So it's not surprising you'd see it that way. But I didn't advance even a single meter, now did I? False accusations. <laughs> Your powers of observation are still lacking, Sakaki Yumiko, my friend. That it was what we call the prone position. I'll show you that one later. Whoa! <laughs> um, is it true that we'll be having a War of the Worlds next year? Battle of the Bands, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Sachi. Wait, or what? What, you were listening? I'm sorry. I didn't intend to eavesdrop, but I happened to overhear. <laughs> Says the person who's stalking and hiding in the shadows. <laughs> right. 
Sachi's anxious expression suggests she took my conversation with Sakaki completely seriously. I'd say that depends on the contents of Michiru's reports. If she really is sending transmissions into space, their contents will dis decide our fate. So be nice to her. Michiru-sama is in communication with the galactic community? I wasn't aware. Humankind ravages nature and slaughters innocent animals to eat their corpses. If the animal... If the animal... <laughs> if the aliens learn of our savage ways, we won't get off easy. If you want, we can go watch the crucial moment together. Yes, please allow me to accompany you. I have no idea what the hell you're saying, but you're fun. <laughs> <laughs> there, you see? Hey, careful, get any closer and you'll be in danger. Well, although this isn't the first time I've seen her like this, it's as shocking as always. Listen, observe with caution. Can you see how her eyes have rolled back? Certainly, they have <clears throat> indeed. Probably a sign she's under the control of the mothership. The mothership? Kazami-san, your powers of perception continue to amaze me. Well, it's only a hypothesis for the moment. Don't get too riled up. <laughs> heen, heen, heen! What is this? Her body's twitching rather violently. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you! <laughs> <laughs> she may well be fighting with someone in the spirit world, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. We're merely spectators. We can do nothing but watch over her battle. To think Michiru Sama was in such a terrible predicament all along. I was utterly ignorant of her struggle. Then again, we can also interpret this in a very different way. The normal way. To be specific? <laughs> That's a dance. She's a bee! <laughs> a dance? At a glimpse, it may look like she's going into convulsions, but she's just one of those raver chicks. <laughs> 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 There's also the possibility that she's simply working on her moves. Option three, she took really bad shrooms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Practice for a liquid dripping from your head dance. Michiru Sama's style is quite unique. If you think of it as a modern dance expressing her inner self, I'd say this is actually pretty spot on. But I must say, I had no idea she was an expert in the field. I haven't seen her dance particularly often. She's one of those liberal arts students. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't pick up those cooking skills in a day either. Expertise is the result of hidden dedication to your craft. In other words, Michiru is sowing the seeds here and now for the future flow. F that's really distracting. I was going to say, that static image is going real nuts. The future flowering of artistic accomplishment. Heen! <laughs> what a desperate face. I'm filled with admiration for Michiru Sama's dedication. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know <laughs> anything about it. I can't wait for the day I can see her beautiful modern dance bloom. Yeah. Hey, you two look pretty friendly. What are you doing? Not making out. Shh, keep it quiet. We're making out. Oh, shit. <laughs> we <were> just appreciate <laughs> Mitru Sama's dance rehearsal. Dance? Let's see. Heen, 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 Oh, my favorite Skrillex song. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the drop going to come? <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's just her normal routine. That time again? Doesn't it just bring a tear to your eye? So beautiful. <laughs> well, I guess. But it's also kind of freaky. So I think I'll be going now. Don't you understand the magnificence of these movements? These steps express the terror of an invasion from outer space. Truly avant-garde. I must have her for my play. <laughs> what steps? She's just writhing in pain. Philistine, to think you're fr frigidity would extend to the fine arts as well. Hey, hold on a second. What's as well supposed to mean? I'm not frigid. Oh, really? <laughs> what the heck? Huh. Amine San has taken her leave. Thanks. What a sad human being. Can't even appreciate this work of art or whatever it is, since I'm basically just making stuff up here. <laughs> I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are we bored yet? No, I'm still willing to continue watching. I like to watch. <laughs> I see. You're passionate. I'm bored, frankly. Let's have sex. <laughs> I mean, that's I got, usually how it goes, right? <laughs> I got bored about two minutes in. Is that so? In that case, I think I'll restart my cleaning. Please excuse me. Good work. If you observe any dramatic changes with Michiru, make sure to report them to me. Certainly. In your underwear. As I'm leaving, it occurs to me that Michiru's movements are also similar to those of a zombie. 
If that woman is, in fact, one of the undead, I suppose I'll have to put a bullet in her head. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> Compared to walking the earth as the living dead, I'm sure she would want it that way. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and that's the end of that whatever. <laughs> this event. <laughs> that was a whole thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Is that I'm the end of an episode? or Yeah, that's, yeah, okay. that's an episode. I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> I like these. I, I I don't know. The characters are okay. I guess I'm still on the fence about this whole thing because it really seems like everything is just like here's this scene. All right, now here's this scene, and then here's this scene. None of these things are connected. No, it's just a lot of random. It's things just happening. a lot of random. I mean, it's just, which is fine. Just so you can see the different personalities and right pick your but favorite. I guess I'm worried that like even if we get to a route. It's not going to be a coherent route. It's just going to be things happening at random times, which I mean, whatever it is, what it is. It's yeah, still we'll funny. <laughs> it's, just, it's just weird. <laughs> it is really weird. It's, it's different so weird. than any visual novel we've played so far. Right. Like, I don't know. It's not a bad thing necessarily. We no, just, it's not. We get just... to try new things. Yeah, I don't want to. Let's head to the green grocer. Stop trying to <laughs> stick things in my butt. <laughs> what? What? <laughs>